This book was so fun, so stressful, so magical, so adventurous, and so intriguing. I loved, I loved this so much. Hey guys, it's Becca back for another one of Becca's books. Today is really exciting. Today I will be reviewing One Dark Throne by Kendare Blake. I was given an arc for an honest review of this book. One Dark Throne releases September 19th and I am so excited for this release. It is gonna fly off the shelves. I absolutely loved this book. One Dark Throne is the sequel novel to Three Dark Crowns. I buddy read this book and absolutely loved it. Three Dark Crowns is about three triplets. These triplets get separated at birth and trained on specific powers that they have growing up until they turn 16 and when they turn 16 they kind of fight for the death to see who will be queen. I would say Three Dark Crowns is more of a setup. You get to meet all the queens and kind of get to know the story and kind of the process of how one becomes queen. I really enjoyed the characters and the plot. I was dying to get my hands on One Dark Throne after I finished Three Dark Crowns. It picks up right where the book left off and oh my goodness I rated this five out of five stars. This was so good. This was every thing that I wanted. One Dark Throne was extremely fast paced. You jump in right in the beginning and it just does not let up. And let me tell you, the last third of the book is absolutely insane. Like I could not put it down once I hit that point in the book. Not that I could put it down anyway. One Dark Throne takes place immediately after Three Dark Crowns. It is about three triplet queens, Catherine, Arsinoe, and Marabella. And each of these queens have a certain power that they were kind of born grown up and cultivated with. You learn about this all in Three Dark Crowns. From there they fight to the death to become the singular queen and it's kind of this whole cer ceremonial thing they do on their 16th year of living. <laughs> the one issue that I had with Three Dark Crowns was that there was just so many characters you switch off seeing into each of these triplets. They all have their own lives and their own friends and families. It was really hard for me to kind of keep together everybody and I I, I didn't care a lot about a lot of people because I didn't really know who the heck they were. That just was not an issue in this book. That was the, that made it the best part and that I think that contributed to how well paced the book was because you could just dive right into the story without having to worry about who was who. One of the best things that Kendare Blake does is she you don't know who to root for. You don't know which queen to root for. I liked all of them. I was a team Catherine you know, from uh, Three Dark Crowns. But once I read this, I was just like, I loved all of them. And it made it so much more stressful. So I was like, who is gonna end up on this throne? I like all of them, I want all of them. Oh, it was so, that was so well done. And the stress, it was good stress, guys. Ugh, ugh, it was good, it was well done. Cause you know, sometimes writers, they make characters more likable than others. So you are emotionally tied to better people. And when they kill them off, you're not as upset at the book for killing off these characters that you love. And Kendir does a great job at keeping that really ambiguous and it, it really helped make this a page turner for me. The writing style is in present tense. It's very different than anything that I typically read and, I, and while it was kind of hard for me to get used to during Three Dark Crowns, I had no problem with it in One Dark Throne. I really liked it and it was a wonder, it was wonderful writing and really, really raw. Getting into the story, we kind of leave off on like this big reveal at the end of Three Dark Crowns where I was just like, oh what's gonna happen and the consequences of what happened to Catherine just pans out and not in the way you expect at all and it, they show you how it affects her relationship with Peter and just where she ends up at the end of this book wow again Catherine had two crazy endings and oh my goodness this is going to be a series of i think four books is what she released on twitter i this book hasn't even come out yet and i need the next book i need it like i said earlier i started loving all of the characters not that i didn't love them from the first book but man you just really got to like dive deep into some of these characters and get to see more of them my goodness jules is um, as m much of a main character as the queens are in this book and i loved her also billy i did not know i would love billy so much and i loved billy he was great in this book so great job with all of the characters they were super enjoyable for me i don't really have any negative things to say about this guys this is kind of a first for me i i really really enjoyed this book and i can't wait to read it again to be honest with you but yeah overall wonderful book i gave it five out of five stars which is really rare for me and really exciting for me to talk about 
if you are excited for this book please let me know if you plan on reading it let me know too i would love to get your opinions eventually well aren't those ones fun the ones where you have nothing bad to say i love these reviews i need to do more of these reviews thank you so much for watching guys as usual mike will be back in our next video and i will see you later bye